This is the Damon and Pickup set, the signature pickup set of Jim Root from Slipknot, and they're unlike any EMGs I've ever played before. Welcome back my dudes, it's great to see you. I'm Jack and in this video we're going to be talking about the EMG Damon and pickup set. These are the signature pickups of Mr. James Root himself. 50% of the guitar force in iconic metal band Slipknot, although I'm betting that's not something I had to tell you. Slipknot were a defining band for me, as I'm sure they were for a lot of you, and Jim has been a huge influence of mine for like the longest time. So when I was choosing pickups to put in this SG mob project, the EMG Damonum set were the only ones that really made sense. Easy to install, gym sound, and a look that complemented the classy but aggressive vibe I really wanted for this guitar. What's not to like? So today I'm going to be sharing with you my opinions on the sound, the install process, the look of these pickups, and who I think they're really best suited to. Let's get right into what you're here for. What do they sound like? If I could sum it up, it's kind of like dropping Jim's sound directly into your guitar, especially on the neck pickup. Arguably, depending where you stand on the subject, there are other factors that go into the sound of a guitar other than just the pickups. In my opinion, Opinion, and as you know I just consider myself an idiot on the internet with a guitar I think pickups are absolutely the most important thing for getting a guitar to sound how you want it to outside the amp if for whatever reason this video gets back to Paul Reed Smith I don't want any beef with you man you seem like a super nice guy if I hit you in the mouth and knock your teeth out this pickup set gets you very close indeed to Jim's sound talking about the actual characteristics of the Damonum set they are still an EMG but with some really noticeable differences to my ears they're still hot and really compressed but they manage to incorporate the wider and more dynamic tonal aspects of a passive pickup whilst not being quite as hot as an EMG 81 or a 60 apparently Jim had always liked the idea of going back to a passive pickup set to make his guitar text life easier because he's a good guy like that but one to retain some of that active feel. After trying our EMG retroactive pickups and then using that as a platform to prototype his own, this is the pickup set we got and I am a massive fan. They definitely give a wider sound that you don't get with other EMG options. They don't sound quite as scooped in the mids and they also clean up really nicely with that like depth and dynamics that you don't get with most active pickups. They're much more versatile than you'd expect from an EMG set, handling loads of styles really well. Would I use them for jazz? Probably not, but I'd bet that's not why you're here anyway. Imagine someone watching this video and then putting Damonums in like a 335 or something. And it should go without saying that yes, these can definitely joke. I mean, let's be honest, with a name like Damonum, it's not like you're going to be confused as to what they were designed to do. Straight up, they're for riffing, man. Downtuned or otherwise. The only place that I don't really see them being the best option is like modern progressive metal. You know what I'm getting at. The one that starts with D that sounds like an old man sneezing. Don't get me wrong, I listen to so much modern progressive metal, but like the word is just the dumbest thing ever. These pickups could work for modern progressive metal with the right rig, but in general, they're just a little bit too warm and wide for that, I think. So let's do a few turns to show you what I'm talking about. In terms of installation, the Damonum set comes with almost everything you would need to fully rewire your guitar with EMG's solderless system and it really is the easiest job in the world. Provided your guitar does have enough space in the cavities for the pots, the battery, the board, then you're all set really. It really is as simple as connecting all the components to your guitar with a few screws and nuts, plugging in the individual connectors to the right port on the board and then connecting a battery. Although I say it comes with almost everything you need because there is one thing that you do need to bear in mind, do not get rid of the selector switch in its 
connecting wires. You'll need to disconnect your selector switch from the existing wiring with as much excess as you can because you'll use this by fitting it to the board with screw connectors. However, the job gets exponentially easier if you're already using a guitar that uses EMG's solderless system. I mean, so much easier, dude. You literally just take the old pickup out of the body take off the connector on the back and swap the daemonyms in using the old mounting screws or pickup rings. It literally could not be easier. That job's probably quicker than restringing a guitar that's got a Floyd Rose to be fair. Obviously it should go without saying that depending on the guitar you've got you might need to do some extra work but you're smart and probably knew that. Me and my dad actually fitted this battery box to the SG because it would have been such a squeeze getting a battery in the cavity on this. Not impossible but I did just want a little bit easier access. But once they're in they look so sick. As you can see I went for the zebra bobbins to match the vibe of this guitar but they do come in all black as well and I know it's such a small detail but the plastics are all matte and it sort of keeps that active pickup look I don't know man I just really prefer it to the normal shiny plastic bobbins look at them shine oh. So who's this pickup set for? The obvious answer is the dudes who want the Jim Root term without actually being Jim Root like me. Although in fairness, I'd happily be Jim Root as well because like he's a legend. But it does go deeper than that. I reckon the Daemonum set is a perfect option for the metal guys who are looking for something a little bit different. If you're like me and you like an active pickup set but you do miss the tonal qualities that you get from a passive, then these are an obvious option. They're also for the guys who are looking for a really simple way to get a solid metal tone without all the soldering or to give a project guitar something special like I was. I think that they're one of the better pickup options on the market right now if you're looking for something that's just super easy to install and then sounds epic. But speaking of project guitars, if you want to see more of the build process for this SG that I bought the pickups for, then you can watch this video right here.